Hey everybody, today we are taking a trip to the Delaware Water Gap to visit a location called Walpack Village. Now, in the 1950s, the US government acquired a good portion of this land to build a dam along the Water Gap. This unfortunately meant the residents of Walpack and their surrounding areas had to vacate and leave their homes. Many years later, the project fell through and the dam was never built. However, the homes and other buildings in the area, including a wall pack, were left abandoned and neglected and left to rot. Thankfully, today, wall pack is being preserved by volunteers and a local historical society. Also, most of the land is maintained by the National Park Service. Now, you can find some truly abandoned and decaying homes in the woods of Hardwick Township, but wall pack is... Uh, being restored, as you'll see in this video. You can freely walk around the town, even though it's pretty small. Uh, you cannot go inside the buildings, but you can see them from the outside. And there's some information on them, um, including signs about what the buildings once were and so forth. It's a pretty cool place. I definitely recommend checking, the, you know, checking it out when you can. It's in the middle of nowhere, but it is absolutely beautiful. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy this walkthrough of Wallpack, and if you do enjoy the video, please subscribe to the channel. A lot more videos coming your way, and uh, yeah, that's it. Enjoy! Yeah, this must be this must be the visitor center. It is locked up for the time being, so we can't get can't get inside it. Unfortunately, I think there's some historical artifacts right there on display. Maybe some. I see like a meat cleaver. Anymore? No. 
They look like bones a little bit. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. What? <laughs> Let me see. Bingo. Can you hold it up? Yeah. Put it aside. This is the front of the building. I've got the staircase right there. Let's go check out the church over here. All right, so we found two, two little bats. One right there sleeping. We found another one. Over here on the other side of the church the back of the church. There he is, he's more, he's more spread out like a bat. I don't get too close to him. All right, let's not interrupt their, uh, their slumber. But we are gonna go up these steps right here and see where they go. I guess they go up to the door. Right, let's go up here. Let's check it out. Let's 
Something for, uh, <laughs> looking for bats up here. Make sure there's nothing up here. That's gonna fly down and get me. There's a few bees' nests. Oh, there's quite a few uh, bees up here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna head on down. I don't feel like getting stung today or any day. But this is a pretty cool, uh, cool spot. That bat right there. This is the side of the church right here. Can't really see inside through the window. But I wonder if you can through here. All right, unfortunately can't really see in there and there are no windows and the doors over here even though the land is mainly uh, National Park Service owned um, the buildings are mainly uh, preserved and maintained by a historical society such as the Wallpack Historical Society It is really pretty back here though. It's the absolute middle of nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, this is Hardwick Township. And it's just, oh, there's some filing cabinets here, it looks like. Some old books. Oh, is that a picture of George Washington, it looks like. Is that an old chalkboard? Looks like it. That's cool.